Hi, this is Jessica Velarde with SSU TV here at Sonoma State's very first Entrepreneur Market Day. We run around and talk to some of the entrepreneurs who are exhibiting their various business ventures. My name is Tomio Endo. I'm the co-director of the Sonoma Student Growers Cooperative. We are a cooperative that helps student farmers start their uh, farming businesses, uh, selling produce to the cafeteria, mostly the kitchens here at Sonoma State. Um, we really work to bring uh, sustainability on campus and to make it uh, really relevant and have a and cultivate a culture of agriculture here on campus. So that's what we do. Yeah. I'm here with the faculty lead of Entrepreneurma, Kirsten. Kirsten, tell us a little bit about this event and what it means to you and your program. Um, this is a great event. The students put this together in order to showcase all of our student entrepreneurs. And one of the things that's really cool about this is that the majority of students here just started these businesses on their own. And so one of the things Entrepreneurma is all about is supporting student businesses at any stage, whether they come from a class, whether the student just decides that they want to do it. And I don't know, I find it very impressive that we have so many students who have created their own business. Um, and you know, small businesses entrepreneurship is a really important part of Sonoma County, so it seems like a really good thing for us to do. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations on the event. I'm here with Entrepreneurma's co-founder, Patrick, and I'm asking him today what inspired him to put on this event for the very first time. So this is actually sort of the realization of a dream that I've had for about two years now in that I've seen lots of my fellow students and friends doing awesome stuff like growing their own produce or making their own clothes, and I really wanted to highlight that on campus and to sort of celebrate that and to show the rest of the campus what awesome things we're doing. Katie, what has been your involvement within Market Day? Uh, well, I work with the School of Business as a marketing intern, and um, I've been helping Patrick and uh, Kirsten with marketing uh, Entrepreneurs Market Day. We've helped them kind of get the word out through Facebook, social media, Instagram, stuff like that, and uh, getting people really excited. So right now, today, I've been posting a lot of pictures of student businesses and kind of talking about what they do and what they're selling, and it's been really cool. We've been looking forward to this for a really long time. It's been in the work since last early last se semester, so it's it's turned out really well. I'm here with Courtney, and she's going to tell us about her product, Lumber Love. Hi. So I make wood burnings. Um, they're really fun. Basically, it's like a soldering iron, but it's specially made for wood. And I can do any size or quotes or like pictures or portraits. Um, I started out doing them as just gifts for my friends and kind of as a leisurely sort of art activity, but people seem really interested in them, so I thought I would try selling them at Market Day, and I've been pretty successful so far. Garrett, tell me what inspired you and kind of what your product is all about. Well, our product is about inclusivity. Uh, we are all about making sure that every booty is included. Uh, we have all sizes of high-waisted shorts, all types, all colors, dyes, everything. Um, we pretty much got the idea from over in Europe. They started doing the whole high-waisted things with uh, Made in the USA shorts. About four years ago, they brought it back. And uh, we're making sure that it is prevalent on campus and the ladies are looking good in the spring. I'm here with entrepreneur Robbie. Robbie, tell us a little bit about your product here. So we are gaming.co. Um, essentially what we are doing is trying to take old school games such as like arcade games and Nintendo games and uh, bring them to your mobile device. So such as like Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Donkey Kong. Uh, we're trying to allow uh, customers to, to get these products on their phone and play with their friends um, through like a, an emulator that we would create and they would be able to download off the App Store. I'm here with Eric and he's going to tell us a little bit about our, his product today. So our product, uh, Sensel, it's a uh, cellular data acquisition system. And what it is, is it's basically a box that you can hook a bunch of sensors up to. And what that box does is it connects to the cellular network and it sends that sensor data back to our web server uh, for doing um, analysis later. So as you can see here, if you want to take a look, you can actually see our uh, data that came in. Uh, here is, you see a timestamp and the actual data value right next to it. It's all completely pro programmable. Um, so all you do, if you want to change any type of these parameters, like how often it wakes up to send you data, you just log into our web server, you type in uh, a couple commands, and it will go ahead and reprogram this guy out in the field, and it will uh, go ahead and 
start sending you data. So it's a, it's a pretty fun project. It's a completely general purpose device, um, but some of the applications include a microclimate monitoring, so you can see some of those sensors here. Uh, we also have uh, security monitoring, water um, quality monitoring, um, and really the sky's the limit to what can be this thing can be used for. I'm here with Darren now, and he's going to explain a little bit about his product today. Okay, so my company is called Off the Map, San Francisco. Um, I actually started it um, around last year in December, and I started just sewing sewing hats by myself. Um, I wanted to change the brim of the hats because I thought they were boring and I thought they could use a little bit of extra spruce. Um, ended up going towards the five panel route and made three different designs. Um, realized that I wasn't the best sewer by myself because I tried to do it by myself and realized I don't have the right equipment. I'm not a professional sewer, so I couldn't do that. So I tried to find a manufacturer. It was really difficult to find a manufacturer that made these kind of hats that's really kind of custom and like leather and whatnot. So I was literally in my room searching for like two or three months trying to find a manufacturer. And that's where I got the name off the map because I was literally off the map trying to find a manufacturer. And then um, I realized not everybody wears hats, so I made pocket tees, crew necks, and hopefully expanding from there and trying to get in retailers and you know, we'll see how it goes. Robbie, tell us a little bit about your product today. Um, I'm an artist. I work mostly digital, uh, like commission work. So what's your inspiration for like your usual pieces? Um, th the stuff I guess that like, relates to me the most is like like science, engineering, um, like technical arts, and more than anything, philosophy, ethics. Um, everything is too vague of an answer, but like a lot of stuff, mostly. What made you want to come to Market Day? Um, this is like people inspired to like have stuff and make stuff and sell stuff like creative people doing things which is I, I, don't, I don't know something something that I'm all about so it's it, it's like relatable you know can you show us one of your pieces yeah no doubt we got a damn let's let's look at this let's look at the Nick Cage thing um, the, the, I actually I made this for a show this weekend April 12th in the city the uh, there's actually like there's a Nick Cage art show going on um, so I just finished this up for it, and um, I'll be there. That'll be there. <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice day. You too. I'm here with Nicole. Nicole, can you tell us a little bit about your product here? This is a POS system for the wine industry. It'll handle both front of the house and back of the house. Um, and it allows wineries to be mobile, so they can go and greet the customer, take care of the sales, take them outside, instead of being stuck in the tasting room and behind give you inspiration for this product? 15 years of working in the industry <laughs> and, and having to deal with you know, 20 people deep and one register and uh, just a nightmare. I'm here with Cesar. Can you tell us a little bit about your product and how you got started? Yeah, I run a company, a production company called Moonman Productions. We kind of set on point doing all kinds of version within both uh, documentary work, short films, uh, promotional pieces, really capturing a story. Uh, I really try to emerge as somebody who can capture something and promote it for a business or anybody else who is trying to tell a story. So in that manner, video storytelling is definitely what I connected to in the community. And then right now, I'm working a lot with the Hillsburg area, really promoting different restaurants. So it's been fantastic work and a journey just starting to really emerge in stories. Um, and then after that, really promotional work and marketing pieces for companies. Thank you so much for your time.